He is the new head coach at Arkansas. It sounds weird. Does it sound weird to you? Or do you pass now that you're the Arkansas head coach? You're you're fine with it. Sounds sounds comfortable. No, it's comfortable. Look, here's I've been at different jobs. You know, I was at UMass eight years, Memphis nine years. Um 15 years at Kentucky. It's dog years now. And I loved it. And it was a great run. We helped a lot of families, won a lot of games, won a lot of league championships, final fours, elite eights, national titles, sweets. I mean, they needed to hear another voice. I wasn't planning on this, but when it came along, kind of like being at ESPN and then other opportunities come along and you say, wait a minute, I got to take advantage of this now. Let me look. And over a two or three day period, I'm like, they're in the SEC too. They got great facilities. They have a great fan base, a great building that seats 20,000, great home court. Pretty good support, as you would know, in this corner of Arkansas, the, the, what's here. And then lastly, I got to hire my son. Now, he's not one of my top three guys, but he's in. He's uh, on court. He can uh, go out and recruit a little bit and get started. And so a lot of good reasons. And I'm excited about it. Let me help another 30, 40 families. Then I'll go into doing a podcast. How about we do that? But did you did you jump before you were pushed? Can can we be fair about the situation at Kentucky? Yeah, I don't I don't think that was the case. But and again, it had nothing to do with fans. Fans, you go to a Nick game and they're playing bad. What are they doing in the second quarter? They're booing. I mean, fans are fans. Kentucky fans are engaged. They're exactly what you want in a fan until you lose a game you're not supposed to lose. And they're still engaged. So it had nothing to do with that. For me to do what I'm doing, I needed that tailwind, no headwinds. We needed to be able to move in what we were doing. And, you know, as far as saying, well, they pushed you out. No, I, I don't think that was the case. But again, let it be good for both. I mean, I had 15 great years there. Let Mark Pope have 15 great years. Let me finish how I want to finish. Let me build another program. Let's win another national championship. Let's help another 25 families. Let me, let me, let me do this. And you can, you and I have been, when you didn't have gray hair, but we, you, we've been doing this a long time. And whether I was at UMass, you and I, you came in and missed jump shots. Whether I was at Memphis and we were doing this in Kentucky over the years. I don't know. When I was with the Nets, did we do anything? Yes. Oh, we did? Yeah. It was after I got fired. You went <laughs> yes, I did. tell me how it feels. <laughs> how do you feel now? I you think I, I think I asked you uh, why Kerry Kittles and not Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you did that. You've done that for 25 years. <laughs> okay, how does Arkansas know you're available if you're happy at Kentucky? A good friend of mine, John Tyson, he and I have been friends for 20 years. Tyson called, Chicken. Yeah, 20 years, 25 years maybe, uh, tried to get me to take the job when I was in Memphis in 2007 maybe. Um. And at that time, Dan, if I left, I left players like they were there. And if my assistant wasn't going to get the job, I wasn't comfortable just leaving. And that was Derek Rose, Antonio Anderson, Chris Douglas, Robert, Robert Dozier, Joey Dorsey. I can go on the guys that I would have left. So he calls me on a Thursday night. I'm at the final four. And he said, Cal, it's Johnny. And I said, what's up? And he said, I need you to meet with the AD. And I said, what AD? They said, our AD at Arkansas. And I said, okay, what, what are we meeting about? Well, he wants to talk to you about candidates and the job and what he's trying to do. And why don't you meet with him? I said, okay, but I'm leaving town at one o'clock on Friday. So we got to meet at 11, 1130 and I'll give him an hour. Well, in the conversation, you can imagine, if you think this is such a great job, why not you? 
And he said, Let, give me 15 minutes to talk about you. And then I looked at my watch. I said, I got to go. I got a guy downstairs who I'm flying with, and I got to get down there. And he said, well, I'm not going to do anything till you tell me no. And then we spent two days, and I'll give you the conversation to change me. Um, Kelvin Sampson and I have been friends for a long, long time. I called Kelvin to check on Hunter, the AD, who had been at Houston with him. Well, he went crazy. I love him. He's the best. He's this, he's that. Okay, okay. But I'm having a hard time because I'm going to end up leaving players. And Kelvin went crazy. What? If you leave, they can leave. They can go where they want. They can go with you. They can go pro. What are you talking about? This isn't 10 years ago. And then he said the one that got me. And if you stay, they can leave. They can go somewhere else. They can go pro. This is different. And you know what? That got me to think in a different way. And within 36 hours, I said, you know what? I want this new challenge. I want to help a bunch of families. I want to bring something to that state and that program that explodes the state and let's go let's go do this 